So we're down here at Waveland Bowl on a Sunday morning. Today is Arsenal practice. We've got literally every ball I own over there ready to go. We're going to start off throwing my phase two as a benchmark and just roll everything I have. Uh, I've got three new additions to the Arsenal. We've got the Insight, we've got a Reality, and a Promotion. So we're going to go ahead and just roll those and learn them. Today we're going to focus on practicing, getting a handle on what every ball in my Arsenal does so I have a good idea of the relationships between them for future play. So we'll see how it goes. It should be fun. Okay, so we start off bowling with the phase two just to get lined up. This is the ball that I'm, if not most comfortable with, definitely have a good understanding of its reactions. It's very predictable. It takes me a few shots to get warmed up here, as might be expected, because I'm basically going cold here. I've done some stretches, but not a lot in the way of, of um, proper warm-ups. You might notice in a few of these shots, I will grab my butt a fair bit. This is just largely a result of me having some pain and stiffness in my left slide leg. So after that, I switch over to the Insight, which is right away amazing. I get a strike right off the bat. I'm pretty much throwing the same spot as the Phase 2. This one, I kind of just dump it off a little bit and still manage to come back a little bit. But for the most part, this thing has a good bit of miss room. It has got a good amount of carry through, or follow through, continuation. That's what I'm looking for. It fits my game very, very well. In fact, as I'll comment later on, after this, you know, tug it in for being four. It doesn't have that much miss room. This is going to be becoming ball one in my league back. It's that good for me. Then we went ahead and moved on to the reality. This one I had a bit of a hard time with. Partially because the first two balls I still were just I was dumping it, so I was still trying to get loose with it a little bit. But once I got where I thought I was lined up with it, it either came in high like this, or sort of burned out and rolled flat, giving me a 10 pin or a 7 pin. For the most part, this ball is this is the strongest ball I've ever thrown. It's the strongest cover, strongest core, and so whenever I get it outside 10, it spends so much of its energy getting back. This shot, sorry, this shot I think was really good. Got it, kept it in the oil a little bit until the last bit of the lane. But on a subsequent shots, I've just gotten it outside into the dry too soon. Therefore, it burns up and rolls out and does that. On to the promotion. This ball's a little bit weird. Uh, I didn't throw it a heck of a lot because it's, again, weird. It's a lot earlier. This I, I dumped this one. It's a lot earlier than my phase two, but not as strong. Or not as, um, okay. Look. Right to left, it, but it hooks really early. It is one that I'm going to ask a lot more time practicing with. My assumption is that I'm going to be using a lot like your thing. He's on short patterns, but it can hook and sort of just settle in a little bit. And then went back to the phase two for a quick um, recalibration before throwing other balls that I'm more familiar with. Through a couple of with my phase one to get up on camera. Avoid the uh, gross violation of lane courtesy to my right there. Obviously this ball I'm very comfortable with. I've thrown the front nine with it. Then I moved on to the IQ to herself. I've only thrown this for about half a game in, cons in competition. It is a very specific ball in my arsenal for when there are really tough conditions I need to control. 
And I think under this situation, we're exposed enough back in with it, or as playing too far outside, and didn't have trips before. Pulled out the Emerald just to give it a little couple shots on camera, but it does not have the cover or the core to really swing a lot under this very fresh house shot condition. So I go back to the inside for a couple more of that just to see how it feels, start pushing around the lane in different places, trying to see what my limits are with it. And I think here is where I really try to swing it. It doesn't quite work. So kind of found the extent to what I can do with the inside. It is not going to be a big angular ball, but it is going to be a wonderful ball to throw under main conditions. Give the reality another try real fast to see how it goes and confirm my thoughts on it. Again, flat 10. And a pretty good down instrument. up there. So with the promotion, this is the one good shot I threw with it. I basically went outside and threw it straight up like seven, like I might do with your thing. Yeah. All right, so pulled about three and a half games today, sort of cycling through all the balls, every frame with two shots. So that's a lot of bowling. Um, had to cut it about there as my legs started getting really stiff on my hip, especially. Got some good footage of all the balls. Still need to figure out how I'm going to be throwing all of them. For the most part, the inside A plus, that's a winner. My league bag going forward actually is gonna be the inside in the phase. Um, the other ones I gotta figure out a bit more. Obviously, it wasn't a good condition for the reality. Um, going up straight, I believe 10, it was cut across the middle, swinging a little bit, I believe 10 pins. So definitely a ball that needs some specific condition. This is not it. The promotion, again, a very specific condition ball. I was able to throw it up, up like five board a couple times to have it work. Otherwise, I have to really figure out where I'm going to throw that ball. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go home, watch some of this, watch some of this video, edit some of this video together, and we'll go from there.